Hey guys, Beyond Seven Day here, and I'm gonna tell you seven facts about Tarek, the Shield of Valorant. I hope you enjoy this new series. Um, I'm just trying to tell you facts about champions from League of Legends instead of recording me doing gameplay because uh, I'm dumb enough not to know how to record gameplay. Well, anyways, here are seven interesting facts about Tarek, and I hope you enjoy. Number one. Debonair Ezreal, Arcade Misfortune, DJ Sona, and Riot Girl Tristana all appear in Tarek's artwork for his Armor of the Fifth Age skin. And bonus fact, if you look closely at Riot Girl Tristana, you can see her smartphone has a picture of Tarek's old artwork. That must be one fun party over there. Bonus fact, Elderwood Hecram appears in Tarek's Emerald skin, and Tarek seems to be healing Hecram. I see like strays. Number two, Tarek sounds like the Arabic word Tarek, meaning to strike, or in the Quran, it refers to the stars. By the way, the Quran is the religious text of Islam. Both meanings really represent him as he strikes with his axe, and he is an aspect which refers to the stars. Number three, Surfer Singe carries a huge bottle of Tarek's tropical tan. That thing is not coming on my skin no matter what my mom says. While on the topic of beaches, Tarek makes an appearance in Pool Party Leona's skin artwork. He is seen skipping along the beach with Lux while Ezreal looks on with a jealous expression while Nami is swimming. This is a reference to the fans who are shipping Lux and Ezreal or Tarek with Ezreal. Here come the fan fictions. Number 4. Tarek's voice actor, Yuri Lowenthal has voiced many characters we all know and love, such as Shinra Kishitani from the Dorara series, and of course, Sasuke Uchiha from the Naruto series. Number 5. Tarek's friends Skarner and Sona represent what Tarek sees beauty in. Sona represents music as she produces music with her instrument, which is pretty self-explanatory, and Skarner represents life as he holds all the memories of his ancestors who lived individual lives. Well, not exactly individual because of the crystals. Uh, I probably shouldn't get too much into it. Number 6. Tarek in his original splash art appears to be left-handed, while he is right-handed in his other skin artworks. Number 7. Nearly all of Tarek's skins represent gems. His original skin represents sapphire. His emerald represents emerald. His armor of the fifth age represents pink sapphire. And his bloodstone represents heliotrope, or bloodstone as it is commonly called. And his pool party skin represents the gem he already is. Hey guys, Beyond 7 Day here, and I want to say thanks for watching. Sorry this is a little late, I just had a few issues with my computer, but um, things should t be back to normal now. I'll probably post on schedule uh, next week, and this might be a new series if you guys like this video. Um, if you like it, then comment down below on what... I don't know, like, just what you want to learn about a certain champion. Just type the name of a champion you want to learn about. Anyways, leave a like and you get a gemstone collection. Leave a dislike and um, you get a wheel of cheese. Uh, subscribe and making more videos. Peace.